Hi, I'm Christine Grail with Lake of Geosystems. I'm here in the zone at HXGN Live, where the big news today has been the launch of the Leica Nova MS50 Multistation. Here with me today to talk about the new release is Michael King of TY Lynn International, Glenn Morrison of AAM, Ryan Scott of Vika, and also Craig Hill, Vice President of Marketing and Services for Leica Geosystems. So with the big announcement today, um, what is the big feature that you guys noticed about the technology? What is it that really stood out to you as being the most impressive? I think the biggest thing uh, is the versatility that you're able to capture not only the robotic side, but the scanning side and not being able to have to take out a C10 scanner uh, with the weight and, and the, the uh, durability of it and stuff like that. And you're able to go out there with a regular instrument and able to capture data and get the data on site at the time that you need it. Volumes, uh, monitoring, not putting any people's lives in danger as you go into different situations. Um, and you can work with one person, which is a huge, huge advantage also. So that's, that's the biggest thing I've seen. Sure, sure. And what do you think about in terms of workflow productivity? I mean, I know we heard a lot today about how the new technology is going to improve your workflow. Definitely, yeah. It's sort of, it's all getting captured in the one device. It's, you're not having to have a TPS data set, you know, put that through LGO, get out a solution, and then take your, your cyclone data and then you know, take that coordinate system and then apply it, whereas this technology will allow us to actually capture it all in real world coordinates to start with, and then actually use that data in the real world, and on the fly, and in the field, as they showed. You know, do a simple stockpile volume report then and there in the field. So you're, you're faster, I mean, it's gonna be more productivity, profitable, I mean, that's the biggest keys in any business, so you're looking at all three of those, which is huge. Sure. Now, Craig, the technology has something called Merge Tech. Can you explain yes. a little bit about that? Yeah, Merge Tech, um, it's quite an amazing technology. It's something we've been working on for a long time. It's uh, really an uh, outstanding technology that combines both uh, total station measurements, uh, imaging, uh, laser scanning, and also even GNSS technology. And it's not only the hardware we're merging, we're also merging the, the data bring all the data together into, um, into one solution with the hardware and then also the software. Sure. And what types of applications do you guys envision for this technology? I think that there's, in, in my dealings with transportation, quite a lot of applications where we can take into account all of the tools that are associated with the total station. Uh, in the instances where we're short a person going into the field as part of the team, this total station allows one person to work and gather the data necessary to complete the job. So we're no longer limited by having personnel issues. The ability to shoot a reflectorless object two kilometers away from the total station allows us to get into areas where access may be limited, either due to obstructions or hazards that we would normally not be able to get into. Uh, the scanner will allow us to do the same thing in areas where we have to get massive amounts of information in a short amount of time and the ability not to have to register all the scans together because they're going to be put into the same georeference system is going to cut shortcut the time that's spent in doing all that registration for clouds. So it's going to be an excellent tool for use in that, that manner. Sure, what about you, Glenn? What sort of applications do you see? Oh, definitely for us, it, it actually goes across our whole business line. So we can either be in an industrial plant somewhere doing steel manufacturing, and we will quick as built on something, allow us to scan it then and there. Plus also we do a lot of work in the mining and resource sector. So especially with the two kilometer range that it has, that gives us that capability of, of getting from one side of the pit to the other, which are typically, you know, 1,800 meters wide anyway. So huge cross-section of work that this, this new machine will have uh, ability to be used in. That makes sense. And Ryan, what about you? I'm in the DC area, so we, we have a lot of urban areas where we can't get to a lot of things. Uh, so with the scanning, we'll be able to get out there get the information right away, process that data for a, an architect or a structural engineer. Uh, not only that, we do a lot of monitoring on existing structures that are being built at the time with sheeting and shoring. Uh, a lot of times I have to put two guys out there, one on the sheeting, you know, with the harness and everything, and this will be able to, I'll be able to pinpoint and get points with the, the scanner uh, and be able to scan all those images and not have to put somebody out there on that sheeting with the harness. Not only that, we do a lot of uh, building heights, 
along with road intersections and stuff like that. And a lot of times with the roads are very busy, so we'll be able to get in there and scan all that information quicker than taking a C10 out there, I think, and, and doing it in a day versus with the C10 where you have to process all that data. I don't think it's going to take over the C10, but it, it's, it's good for everyday applications and, and what the engineers need right away versus a, you know, a two-week turnaround and stuff. Sure, sure. Craig, what do you think the number one takeaway on this new solution is? I think we've got this one one complete solution, and it's not only the hardware, it's also the software, the services, and the support. Really one complete solution. All right. Well, thanks so much, guys. I appreciate your time today. Have a great conference. Thank you for Thank having you. me.